So this is an absolute bombshell that proves that at least one piece of quote-unquote proof against Russell Brand was either fake outright or was manipulated and that was never disclosed by the time in the sunday times now you'll notice a couple of red line edits those are mine but the rest of this this was presented as one solid piece of texting well you'll notice here that there's cut and paste jobs in fact there's a few of them here you have dates missing and more and on top of that they present this in a way that it's not framed. It's not saying what they say. It's saying so. You have problems here with the story. You have problems with what they present. You and I, we're going to talk about all of that today. And this, this really is crazy times. This is crazy times indeed. All right. So, hey there to all you fine folks on this fine day, by the way. I hope you are doing excellently. So, we're going to spend some time examining this. Why? Because this has been utilized as proof of a developing story. A story that points the finger at Russell Brandt that just dropped on Saturday, 9-16-2023, and the media and so many others have already said he's guilty, and here's the proof. Now, when you look at this, first, we want to look at the context, because the way that this was presented, forgive the red line edits, by the way, those are indeed mine, but the way this, this is presented, it's presented as proof that somebody had the worst thing happen to them. They were accosted. They had to go to a center and get some help. Yeah, that's not what it says at all. And I'll point out the errors in the thing where this is either faked or manipulated as we go forward. So this says, after the, I'm going to use the word accosting instead of that other A word that they like. How Bran texted, sorry to Nadia. Again, they use this as a no means no and they utilize this as him apologizing. Therefore, he's guilty. So you notice this starts out here. July 1st, 2012, 3.29 a.m. Russell Brand says, I'm sorry. That was crazy and selfish. I hope you can forgive me. I know that you're a lovely person. X. Now, seven and a half hours later, July 1st, 2012, at 10.59 a.m., you have this come in. You scared the bleep out of me. Now, you're right. I am a lovely person, and for you to take advantage of me like that is unexpectable. That's what it says, unexpectable. You have a problem. You need help. It's dangerous that you think you can get your way all the time. Do you know how scary you are when that glaze look comes over you? Now, here's a problem. This is when it pops up, and you're going to have this misrepresented. So, I'll talk about misrepresentation first. When a girl says no, it means no. Now, remember, this is a conversation from 2012. This isn't from the certain hashtag movement era. But do I have to go and get myself tested? Last time you asked me, I'm going to say protection or no protection. When I say protection, that doesn't mean it's optional. You don't have the best reputation. I pry myself on being safe and trying to make the right decisions. Obviously, this was a bad one. I'm so disappointed. Now, when you look at that, first of all, that is about the use of protection. That is not about no means no, which has a specific connotation, especially in this day and age, which is a totally different topic. But the Times, the Sunday Times, Channel 4, they present this as undeniable proof that, well, he did something horrible. This person had to go to a crisis center, get assistance when really this is about getting themselves checked out. Now, when you look at this too, this is not disclosed at all that there are any edits, but when you look at that, you'll notice there is an edit line here. That is a copy and paste. I mean, it is clearly seen when you blow that up. And you can also see that this is a copy and paste because, well, 
it looks like everything's been bold-faced. But the reason for that is because it ended up missized. When you missize something, essentially, it takes away clarity unless you go in and you spend a lot of time with it. Now, from there, you have the next part. This is a problem, too, and a big one at that. Again, you can see the cut-in. That is my fault. Plus, it'll take away noise that's here. But it says, this is brand, I'm very sorry. You don't need to get tested. I will make this up to you somehow with live and kindness. Not my original idea, which was more sex. You've been lovely to me, and I'm embarrassed by my behavior. Sorry, it notes. Will you ever forgive me? And again, when you scroll to the bottom, you have up the graphic by the Times and the Sunday Times. Now, when you look at this, you'll notice first and foremost that it is not aligned correctly. This is actually slanting over to the side. Why is that? Well, this is a copy and paste job too. And in fact, it looks like somebody took a little more time when copying and pasting that because you don't have any noise that's outside of this, but you'll notice there's noise all over every word here. It cuts into it. That noise is not caused by the words. You can see that clearly. Otherwise, it would bleed down. This, like I said, is somebody copying and pasting it. And when you blow out, when you actually see this, that is not noticeable. It's only when you start looking at the details. You'll also notice that there is a date stamp that looks like it's missing. I mean, typically, you'll see the date above something. That's the way it looks like it's presented here. Well, you don't have a date or a time stamp that comes across right there. You'll also notice, too, this, this is off angle. But, the date here is actually on angle, which means this wasn't cut as a block of text. This stuff was cut in singularly. You have this part. Again, you can see that, that it's somewhat off, but it's straighter here. This is perfectly straight. This comes in at an angle and all the noise there. You can see the noise it's also showcased as a problem as well. You can also see at the bottom here, when you look at the bar across the bottom, this, it looks like it has its issue. But when you look at this all together, I mean, again, context to this, the context is not correct. I'm not talking about the other issue, which is an issue to discuss all of its own, but this again was presented as a no means no situation. You have them saying, hey, look, this is what he did. He's even saying sorry. And like I said, there is no disclosure here that this thing was ever manipulated at all. They present it as if it is not manipulated from go. Right here, it looks like it is one singular item. And well, when you have something like that, it makes you question everything that comes after.